Hello everyone, my name is Miss Ashley from Fibo Kids Art Academy and for today's process art project we're going to be creating an image using stuff that we found outside such as like a pine cone or some leaves. So let's go ahead and get started with our project. So today on my walk with my dog I found all sorts of different and unique items that can be used as either a paintbrush or a stamp. Might seem a little bit crazy, but that's what's fun about this project is because you have no idea what's going to um, happen when you use these items for your picture. Now normally when we paint, we would just use a simple paintbrush, like this one for example. However, these objects can also be used as a paintbrush. Do you notice how these pine needles kind of look similar to the top of a paintbrush? This also can be used like a paintbrush. So today on my walk I found all these different um, items at the park and so I'm going to try each of them to create an image. Now with this project there's no right or wrong, it's just to try out all these different things and see what works best for you. I do recommend, however, having some wet wipes handy because this might get a little bit messy. So my wet wipes are just right here to the side. And you can use acrylic paint as well. So we're just going to go ahead, I'm just going to put these to the side over here. And I'll go ahead and grab a new piece of paper for our project. All right, I'm just going to make it tall up and down like this so you guys can still see what items I'm going to be using. So here we go. Doesn't matter what orientation you have it, you can have it vertical or horizontal. I'm just going to do vertical today so you can see what I come up with. Now first things first, again I have all sorts of different um, items that I found out at the park so I'm just going to try each of them. So first things, first I have this one right here. I'm just going to use this one here and what I'm going to do, I can use any part of this if I want to. I'm going to use the top right here and we'll just go for a nice simple red. Now I'm just dipping it into my paint very carefully. You can use a lot, you can use a little bit, but as you can see, I can use that as a paintbrush and see what um, kind of textures or brush strokes it comes up with. So I actually really like this speckled um, effect that it's giving. I can just dip again and do that. And there's no right or wrong to how you um, create this image, trying out all your different brushes. All right, I'm just going to put this one to the side for now. Let's go next with our pine needles right here. Now this is quite a big bunch, so I might just squeeze them a little bit closer together so um, that way it doesn't get everywhere, but you can try it everywhere if you'd like to. Also another suggestion, if dipping it is too hard to do in um, your paint, you can easily grab your paintbrush and you can add paint to it. So for example, I can get some yellow paint on here and maybe I want to add some green with it as well. So I'm just going to paint these pine needles. So I'll add yellow and I'll get some green as well. Now the one tricky thing about this is that it is a little bit hard to wash these items that you found out in nature. Um, but that's okay though because it's also fun to mix paint. So I've got yellow and green right here. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, so it'll be a surprise for both you and me. So maybe I just want to press it down like this with my hands. And there, it kind of looks like a firework effect. You can even just kind of brush it down like this to create even longer strokes. Awesome, so there was that one. Let's try this nifty pine cone. Again, I can just dip it in the paint or I can use my paintbrush to um, fill up all the sides. I'm just going to dip it into my green paint right here. And I can just brush it down like this, or I can even roll it back and forth just to see how it comes up. We've got a nice little bumpy texture right there. And I can even swirl it like this with my others. 
and there's no right or wrong to how you do this project. What matters is the objects that you found outside. All right, so that was our pine cone. I have another interesting looking pine cone. It's a little bit bare, but I also have this interesting part at the top. I'll dip it in my green again. And I can use it like a stamp. So it just has some nice little dots right there. Or I can go back to my paintbrush and add some paint to the sides. I'll just stick with green for a little bit just because I am using two different pine cones. And I can even go back and add some different green, some yellow green. Maybe I want to add yellow too. And then I can see if that will work or not. Now, unfortunately, sometimes it might not work. For example, right here, the only thing that came off was just that little bit right there. But that's okay. That's what's fun about trying these different ones. I need to go to the side. We'll try this side this time. So I'm going to get some more paint on here. Again, you can always just dip it in your acrylic paint, or you can just paint it right on like I'm doing. And then press it down like that. So I've got some nice little speckles going on right there. All right, I've tried those pine cones. I actually found some flowers outside. So I can try the, both of these different flowers. We'll go for purple since it's the purple flower. I'm just gonna dip it in my paint and press down. I can press down again. And dab it again. And maybe you wanna press a little bit harder and poke at it. Might be able to get some nice little flower design. I've also got this flower here too. Okay, maybe I want to swirl it this time. Okay, you don't have to just tap the um, your nature's paintbrush. You can swirl it if you want to. So see, I can start to blend these purples together by swirling it around. It might be a little bit hard to see because it's, my hand was in the way. But you see how I'm swirling that flower? Same right here too. All right, so those are my flowers. I have this little, um, some buds that I found off of a bush. I'm just gonna tap it into my light blue paint. And we'll just tap it like so. So I've got some easy little dots here. I can even use it more like a paintbrush and brush it down like this. I actually like this one just because of all the small little dots. All right, I have this one that actually looks kind of like a paintbrush already. I'll dip this one in the darker blue. So I'm just going to dip it like it's a regular paintbrush and I'm just going to paint with it. So I can try my best to mix it with that purple or that green up here. You know, I want to bring some of that purple down here. Ooh, so now it's starting to mix with all the other paint that I have. <clears throat> you know, I don't, I don't really have a direction in mind on what I'm painting. It's a little bit more abstract than anything else. I actually really like this brush. So again, the only downside is that we can't wash it, unfortunately. It might ruin the leaves. And we'll add some red to that, too. just kind of blend that. All right, so that was my um, fun little brush that I created. I have this going on right here. <clears throat> now I can just use like a one leaf if I wanted to. I could use the whole entire stem. I haven't used orange yet, so we'll go to our orange. One of the leaves fell off, unfortunately, but that's okay. And I can go in and just see what kind of effect happens with these leaves. Now it might be easier to just take those leaves apart and 
paint with one leaf, which we've got one leaf right here, so I can try that out. I'll dip my orange. And that way I can just add a little bit more orange here and there. It's already starting to look really interesting. All because I used different um, brushes, I guess you could say, brushes that were found out in nature. I went to my nearby park and found all of these. I also have these, I think they're called milkweed, if I'm um, right or wrong, I'm not quite sure. But I'll go ahead and just dip in my red. And I'll just dip. Or I can just brush it like this. I can even dip back into some yellow so it mixes with that red a little bit more. And so we're just creating a few more textures. I actually really like this, so I'm going to add a little bit more color with this. All right, I'm not quite sure what this is, to be honest. Um, looks really interesting though. So I think for this one, I'm going to grab some light blue, just dip it in there and some light purple and dark purple. And I think for this, I'm just gonna roll it around and see what happens. So not too much is happening because it is a little bit on the pokey side, but I am getting some of these um, little lines right here. Maybe I'll just dip it more in some light blue. And I can use that to spread some of that paint around. Awesome. All right, I do have this little flower that was um, drying up. So I'm gonna be taking my yellow green and just seeing how this works now. Now some of these, if they are a little bit on the dry side, may crumble on your picture. For example, there's my pine needle right there. And that's okay, there's no right or wrong to how you do this. Let's dip my yellow green and we'll dip in some yellow too. And you can even just use that to spread some of that paint around if you'd like. All right, I do have this, which is really long and interesting. Um, so what I'm gonna do for this one, I'm gonna just take, I'm gonna take yellow. I think my picture needs a little bit more yellow, but again, there's no right or wrong to what colors you use. And I'm just gonna use this, and I even, I'm gonna even try holding it all the way from the end here. And I'll just try and paint with it. Maybe just dip in the paint again. And we'll just let that trail off and see what happens. Might be hard because it is a little bit flimsy. So if you need to hold it a little bit closer, you can do that. But already my picture is looking really interesting. Love all the different splatters that I have going on. Well, we have reached our very last um, brush that I found outside, and this is palm bark from a palm tree. So I think I'm just gonna dip into my red here, and I'm going to just smear that like this. I really like this actually. Gives it a definite brush effect. And then I can go in and um, smear some of that paint around. that way it looks a little bit more like a paintbrush. But isn't that neat how we can come up with this picture using all these different items that we found outside? Awesome, and this is what I came up with using all of my different items that I found outside. Um, when you are done, just make sure to clean up your area and definitely show your mom or dad what you came up with. Out of all of these that we used, which one was your favorite? I think the palm tree bark was definitely one of my favorites. I was surprised by how much I did like the milkweed. And this one was also interesting too. This one's my cleaner one, so I'll go back and add some like blues and yellows to that. But yeah, tell us what you think is your favorite one, or if there's something that you found outside that you feel like is a really great brush that um, I should try out. Let me know in the comments below and we'll see you next time at Bebo Kids Art Academy. Bye!